Hi YouTube, this is Maduke Bad Body Ball. So I wanted to share a story with you guys about the first time I snuck out of the house. It was actually the first and last time that I snuck out of the house. So it was like the summertime, like springtime-ish or whatever. I was 15, 16 years old. My parents were super, super strict. They're Nigerian, so you know how that goes. Like they didn't let me go anywhere. Like it was just like go to school and come home. Go to school and come home. And I'm just like, damn, you know, it's getting lit outside. All my friends is going outside. They're going to parties and all that. I'm at that age where I want to, you know, go out and do stuff, you know? And I'm like, you know, I want to go out, whatever. And it was like, no. It was always, no, no, no. And I'm like, damn, you know, I get good grades at school. And you don't even have to keep track. They didn't keep track of my grades. That was just me doing, like, what I was supposed to do. My grades were always on point. And, um... Basically, like, they didn't really let me go anywhere. I was just like, damn, you know, I'm I'm doing, I'm, like, I'm actually doing everything that you want me to do. But when I want to go out, it's no, no. Because they thought, like, something was going to happen. Or, like, I don't know what they thought. They thought, like, I was just going to go out there and, like, get a little taste of freedom and just go wild and get pregnant. But that's not me. Like, I had... I was young, but I had an older mind. Like, I knew what I wanted for myself. I knew my goals. Like, I knew the path I wanted to go to to succeed on whatever I, whatever I needed to do. Like, I was the type of person that didn't let anything get in the way of my goals. I still am. Like, if I have goals, like, I make sure I complete them. It wasn't, like, something that could distract me. Like, distra possibly distract me for, like, a little bit, but it's not where I would get so sidetracked. Like, I wasn't out there doing drugs and being promiscuous like you know I was just I just wanted to have fun the weather was getting nice like I wanted to go out with my friends you know how that goes so basically um this was back when AIM was popping like if you're in my generation or whatever like back then AIM was popping AIM is like kind of like you know I message on the iPhone now but the iPhones wasn't even popping back then so it was like way before that like most of the time people would go on their computer for AIM like that's how serious it was so like I had like a decent amount of friends on AIM so I'm 15 16 being the child of God <laughs> I hop on AIM I'm like damn you know I want to go out my friend got a car and he's um, a year or two older than me so he must have been like 17 or probably 18 and I'm 16 17 whatever so he's like yo I got my car da, da, da. you really want to go out I got this movie we could go to so I'm like all right so my mom go to work I'm like boom my dad's going to work I'm like boom I'm, in my head I'm already planning like what I'm gonna do so I like set up like my bed in my bedroom I take my my pillows and all my my stuffed animals, I put it under the comforter, I put the scarf on the um teddy bear or whatever, make it seem like if he was if my if something was to happen, like they would peek in the room and like actually see my scarf and be like, alright, that's do bad, like she good. So after my dad leaves for work, I already wear my outfit, I got my hair looking cute, I, I got my side bag, side bags was really popping back. I'm like, yo, it's lit, blah blah. I'm finally about to turn up. I'm like, I'm gonna do this more often. They're gonna be like, nah, I'm like, alright, cool. I'm gonna just be sneaking out. I'm thinking like, all right, I already got this plan in my head. Like, all right, this is what I'm gonna have to do from now on. Really cute, head to toe, whatever. My hair looking good, da 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 da. I'm ready to turn up. So, we driving to pick up some more of his friends. Um, so we go out, we drive past a few spots. Um, one place already like got shut down or it ended. Everybody's leaving out, and I seen some few people that I just didn't want to see anyways. So like that party was over. Then we drive past another spot. That place looked like it was for like old people. Mind you, I'm like a teenager, so like that place looked like for it was like people in like their 20. Cause like you know like when you're under 21, you can only get into clubs, certain clubs. Like sometimes it's 18 and under. Sometimes like it's 21 and up. And I didn't have like you know I wasn't 21, so I can't I couldn't get into any club that I wanted to get into at the time. So then we look at another spot. That was dry. So I was just like, you know what? I'm done for the night. We already drove past all the spots. I'm not trying to do nothing. Like, I'm getting tired. Just take me home. So, so he takes me back to my crib or whatever. So at the time, I lived in this area where it was like street parking. So, you know, I had to make sure that, you know, my dad's car wasn't there. 
So I'm looking, you know, I'm like, all right, good. You know, I didn't see it. Like, I was good. So I'm taking, he drives off, my friend drives off. So I'm like about to walk into the crib, you know, I'm feeling good, like, you know, I'm feeling well, you know. So, yo, my dad walked out the house. I was like, shook. Like, I was shook. I was just like, yo. I was like, hi, dad. <laughs> I was like, hi, dad. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. He's like, where are you coming from? I was like, the, the store. <laughs> you know when you start stuttering? I'm like, the store. I'm looking like, yo, that was the dumbest lie. How I'm coming from the store, like, 1 a.m. Like, no. No. I was like, yo. I was like, what am I going to do? He's like, where are you coming from? Meanwhile, he's seen the car drive off. So he immediately calls my mom. I'm like, yo, my life is done. I'm not going nowhere no more like in my head i'm like damn i just wanted to go out and have fun and i even turn up the way i wanted to like i didn't even turn up the way i wanted to like i literally just went in the car didn't step out the car didn't turn up like that shit was a waste calls my mama she's babbling babbling i'm like yo i'm in trouble i'm like yo <laughs> he's like go inside he calls my mom. I'm like, yo, I already know. Like, you know how Nigerians exaggerate? Like, I already know he's going to exaggerate to my mom and get her hype. And she's already always hype. Like, so I'm like, she already over exaggerates. I don't want anything adding to, like, the sauce or whatever. He's like, yeah, seen the guy that she was with. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, my God. Not only am I going to get in trouble, but I'm going to get my friend in trouble, too. I go in the room. I'm waking up my brother. I'm like, yo, Michael, I'm in trouble. Yo, whenever I'm in trouble, like, I always have to tell my brother. I'm like, I'm waking my brother up. He's like, uh, what? You know, acting all confused. I'm like, yo, Michael, I'm in trouble, blah, blah, blah. What am I going to do? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I was so mad. I was just like, yo, my blanket was in the same place it was before. Yo, I was just like, yo, all my efforts. All my efforts, the teddy bear, the pillows, all that was a waste. All that was a waste. I go inside and my dad's like, give me your phone. Because I was just about to hit up my friend, let him know, like, yo, I just got in trouble. Meanwhile, we're Nigerian, he's Nigerian too. So, like, you know, all Nigerians know each other. So, I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm about to get him in trouble too. I hopped on the computer because my dad stepped out real quick. So, I hopped on the computer in the living room. <laughs> I went on the computer in the living room. I was like, yo... Um, my dad just caught me sneaking out the house. I'm in big trouble. Be careful just because, you know, my dad like, I don't want you getting in trouble. He was like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks for the head up. Thanks for the heads up, whatever. I'm good. So I was like, okay. Yo, when I tell you my mom, oh my God. When I tell you my mom, yo, she is so dramatic. Talk to me, calling everybody Nigeria. You know what gets real when they call your um, family Nigeria? And they call on family members in America, come talk to you like you're crazy or whatever. So I asked my mom the other day, I was like, do you remember the time that I snuck out the house? And she was just like, huh? Wait, what are you doing? And I was like, no, mom, don't do that. I know you remember because you made a big deal out of it. But yeah, that was like the first and last time that I ever snuck. I didn't even get to enjoy it. That's the, the part that's painting me. I don't regret that I did it to this day. I don't because I needed to do it. I felt like I needed to do it. I was literally going and saying, like, I needed... And you know what? I ended up finding out that day that there was, like, a club for people, like, my age. Like, all the people, like, my age that went to my school used to go to the, this... It wasn't, like, a club. It was, like, a little spot up the block. And I used to hear music, but I never thought... I just thought, like, the neighbors was, like, turning up and playing loud music. I never knew... That there was a function going up the block, like literally a one minute walk away from my house. I was just missing out on all these opportunities. But that was the first and last time I ever really, I didn't even get to enjoy it. But that was the first and last time I ever snuck out the house. I got in so much trouble. I didn't go out for a long time after that. <laughs> Imagine like you doing all that. And they thinking something else. They thinking like I'm going out doing drugs, drinking, smoking, 
doing promiscuous things I guess like I had a boyfriend they thinking like I had a boyfriend or whatever that I was just going away and like listening to other people like I didn't have a mind of my own which I did I had a mind of my own like the way they thought of me like I don't know where they was getting it from like I think they watched too many movies or watched the news too much and like just thought something other than what I was and that used to make me so angry because I knew the type of person that I was and then I was like when I did something bad it'll be like blown up it would get so blown up and then I would get mad out of frustration then I'll get even more trouble and then it would just like it would justify their thoughts of what I was doing like oh my god she's she's acting up and this this that but I wasn't even like that um I was actually like a really really good kid but now I'm just like mm. I'll be like mom remember when you thought I was like gonna get pregnant remember I wasn't even on that like I'm just I was just a teen that just wanted I was just a teenager that just wanted to turn up I just wanted to enjoy my life my friends done crazier stuff jumping out windows <laughs> My friends do crazy, my friends was crazier than me. Like, out of all my friends, I feel like I was the same one. I was the same, I was like, yo, they think I'm bad. They I was like, the. <laughs> but that is the end of my story time. If you like my video, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.